All right, so here's what we came up with for uh, we came up with for a reverser block. So the issue is um, having this thing not come down too far, so that when you throw it in reverse, and you're way up front, and you have no idea how far down you are trimmed, the foot doesn't come around and uh, whack the back of the hull. So what we came up with was I got these six-inch grade eight bolts and uh, built this little bar, put some spacers in here, this is two inches, this is one inch, this is five inches long, but I don't know how wide. But anyway, countersunk the heads in those bolts. Um, this, this spacer actually determines your space up here, which we had to do after we got the, the mounting bracket for the Python all made together. And then these spacers determine how far down it can come. Now the good thing about this is one of the things I was concerned about was when I was running the big motor that this the tail was actually going to drag in the water. Well now it pulls it up a lot more. I don't, I don't have much space here to show you guys, but a lot more than what um, it did before. So I don't think it's going to drag at all when we're when we're up on plane, which is good because I was worried about that. But we'll see. Anyway, so now what this does uh, based on these reverser blocks is it allows me to, no matter what I'm doing, run the motor and no, far, no matter how far I let it down, it's only gonna go so far as that reverser block where it's resting and then you wanna throw it in reverse, you throw it in reverse and it's still got plenty of room there in between there and you've still got your steering which it does not hit it either. So we're good to go. So that's my progress for the evening. Um, been working on that.